Hey YouTube, it's Chrissy Lulu. So today I kind of want to touch on another thing about Inktober. This is my week two. Again, we've got seven drawings for this week. And kind of what I wanted to talk about is how to keep yourself going during Inktober. And one of my um, biggest recommendations is to surround yourself with people who are going to encourage you and help you keep going. If you're seeing other people get their work done, and seeing other people complete it and having people encourage you it's a lot easier to get it done if you're doing it all on your own it's very easy to just give up and i know this is a problem with not only me but many other artists is beating yourself up for your work and being overly critical so if you have someone else around who's able to give you the insight that hey everything's okay you're doing great um, just keep pushing through. It's very helpful. Um, it's kind of giving you, you know, a snap back to reality. Um, you get an outsider's point of view and it's really helpful to kind of push forward. Um, I recommend if you normally do a challenge alone to try and at least if you don't have anyone nearby or in your life who is an artist and does Inktober and stuff like that, you should surround yourself with people who are doing it. Like, find out people on Instagram and follow them. Follow on the on Instagram, you can follow the tags. Follow the tags on Instagram. Or Tumblr or whatever. Follow people who are actively participating in the challenge. It'll keep you more motivated. You're like, okay, other people are doing it. I can do it too. Um, and that's kind of what I do a lot. Um, I really love when these challenges come up <coughs> and I get reminded of them um, and I'm like okay yeah I'll participate seeing other people do something really gets me wanting to do it too um, hence the reason why I participated in Mermaid this year even though Mermaid is an absolute miserable I don't know if I'll participate in Mermaid again but we'll see um, <laughs> that was kind of me deciding on a win um, I made my own challenge kind of on a whim. I've been planning it out um, ever since I drawn my own dog. I wanted to do my own kind of little challenge where I drew a dog a day. And so I did it. Um, I know none of you guys participated. Um, I'm thinking about doing it again this year and hopefully someone can participate with me. Um, the easier thing I've found with doing all these challenges is it's harder to do it when you're in the middle of school and such. So, um, Mermaid was mainly during the summer, so I had all the time in the world to get my stuff done. Um, same with the Dog Days of Summer thing I did in July. Or June? It was June, sorry. Um, I was middle of summer, and I wasn't doing anything. Um, and even when I was doing stuff, I had set apart some time to get it done and everything. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little clogged up today. Um, hopefully I'm feeling better later today, but we'll see. But yeah, um, the th problem with Inktober is it hits you right at a bad part in the school year or in the semester. Um, depending on which grade level you are, um, I would be really shocked if people I don't, I don't know a lot of younger artists people who are still in high school um, I'd love to like see what they do I don't know if they actively participate in these big challenges or anything or if they're able to get them done I don't I know when I was that young I did not I was not motivated enough to do something like that and I wasn't as um, dedicated to my craft as I am now um, when I was drawing in high school, I did it just for fun, pretty much, and there was, I, I wouldn't post anything, like, ever. I do no finished pieces, which is kind of like a big difference between high school me and college me, 
because I'm always doing finished pieces. Um, and while it's not horrible that you don't do 100% fully finished pieces and well finished pieces all the time, I mean even Michelangelo didn't always finish his pieces. As he got older he actually finished them less, if you didn't know that. A um, little fun fact. Um, but yeah, Inktober is all about not finishing pieces, but finishing them to the best of your ability in a short amount of time. So even if something isn't perfect the way you imagined it, it's okay. It's a challenge. We're doing this for fun. Just just go about it. Just keep doing it. You can't you can't harp on things like um, if you've already watched my first week's video, I'm gonna put a link probably at the end. Um, it was my it, it should be my last video or something. There's gonna be a link to my um, challenges playlist there too. So just wait to the end and you can see all that stuff. But yeah, um, I can put week one in the cards. But the second day, I ended up going. I, I overworked the piece pretty much because um, I I I did the first couple very quickly. Um, I think I got worse with doing them quickly as it went on, um, but the Roman I did for day two, I overworked it, um, and I know I did, and I was really, I was like, once I started, I was like, that was too much, <laughs> but I had to keep going, I had to, I had to commit, I had already, I had already started, therefore I had to commit, I had to follow through, um, and yeah, um, while I do like that piece, kind of, I'm kind of don't like it just because I overworked it, which is a problem that a lot of people have is they overwork their pieces. But yeah, Inktober is hopefully not the time where you are overworking your pieces. Um, if you finish a piece quickly, just set it to the side and be like, wow, okay, that was easy, I'm done for the day. Work on some other art if you want. If you're still feeling creative and you want to get work done, um, you could start a piece that's not Inktober related, or you could, I don't know, <laughs> you could maybe start the next day's piece, sketch something out for it. Um, if you know you are a slow worker and you have a piece that takes you surprisingly less time, it might be better to prepare for the next day's. Um, my roommate, who um, we both we're doing this challenge together. Uh, they had some problems. She was, they, they were like, um, they wish they had done sketches beforehand so that they wouldn't find, fall behind and everything. And I understand that. I totally do. It's hard, especially if you haven't completed Ink Inktober before. If if you're starting and you're doing everything on the day of. But I'm still proud of them. They did a lot more days than they, they normally do. Um, they did 20 days, I think. So that is an accomplishment in itself. If you beat your last year's record, I'd say that's an accomplishment. Feel proud of yourself. Um, don't feel bad because you didn't finish, but feel proud that you got farther than you did the last year. My first Inktober, I think I did like 13 days or something, and ugh, looking back, I still have the sketchbook <laughs> that my first Inktobers are in open. I have not closed it yet, I have not finished it, so <laughs> yeah, I get to look on that stuff, back on that stuff, and I'm like, ugh, it's so bad, it's just not good. And sometimes it's just how it is. Um, um, you can even... If you've done Inktober before and you've completed it, you can look back and be like, hey, look at me. I've improved. Um, and that's kind of what I want to go over in week four of my Inktober stuff is kind of what I changed up this year and everything and kind of do a review if you want to check back in for that. But yeah, I'm going to get back on topic now. I'm sorry for rambling. <laughs> but yeah, if you're doing Inktober, Surround yourself by ins with inspiration. Don't isolate yourself, if you know what I mean. Keep yourself inspired. Um, it's sometimes hard. 
especially if you're like me and you don't use prompts to kind of come up with idea an idea every single day um, and it's hard to keep motivated if you're not seeing anyone else do this and you're not getting the results you want you just want to drop it it's very hard to keep going if you don't have the support around you or you don't have kind of the self support I guess if you're not supporting yourself and you're not encouraging yourself to do it and get it done um, it might not happen and you might not get very far and that's kind of just the reality of it that's what happened my first year I didn't know anyone else who was doing it I was like Inktober is popular I want to do it but I didn't see anyone else doing it I wasn't following anyone who was doing it and I just got very quickly discouraged and I ended up dropping it and it was just not, not a good time <laughs> um, so yeah doing alone is very hard um, I have a friend who posted all her stuff on Facebook um, and she actually completed Inktober this year but I don't actually really know if there was anyone else who she knew who was doing it um, and if there wasn't I'm actually shocked but happy she finished it um she, she seeing other people's stuff like seeing your friends stuff once friends are competing in inktober and you get to see their art every day it's awesome i love that feeling i love being able to see others art so um if you're doing it yourself i'd recommend posting it share it with the world you can keep you can encourage someone to keep going and people can encourage you to keep going Getting comments on your posts is great inspiration if people are like, wow, I love the work, keep it up, and you're like, wow, I got a boost of energy from that. <laughs> so yeah, just get some support, man. Anyways, I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can't say I had fun making it, but um, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> um, yeah, just make sure you check out my art. Um, sites um i have them listed below i'm on dvnr instagram and tumblr if you want to find me in any of those places and yeah instagram at the moment has all of my pieces tumblr and dvnr will soon have all my pieces once i get to it so yeah i'll see you guys next video bye